Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I have a 12 volt, 230 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery from Orient Power. Uh, let's go ahead and open up this box and see what we got. Okay, first of all, I have to say I love this packaging. It says fragile all over it. It's actually got handles on the side because this battery, you know, it probably weighs somewhere in the range of 50 pounds. So uh, it's great that it's, that it's packaged very well. All right, it's actually double boxed and it's got a very nice piece of styrofoam on top. And let's just drop this box and pull the battery out. There we go. All right, nicely wrapped in plastic. It's got a couple of nice terminal covers that actually spin so you can orientate your wiring however you want. Comes with a little baggie with, uh, looks like a, a small user's manual and some M8 bolts. They look like M8 bolts and they're probably 16 millimeters in length. Okay, and there it is. Now, as I said before, it's from Orient Power. Um, it is a LiPo 4 battery, which is lithium iron phosphate. The model is a OP12V230. Its rated voltage is 12.8 volts nominal. Uh, its rated capacity, again, is 230 amp hours. And that means that the energy is 2944 watt hours. It also shows uh, the website as opsolarbattery.com and uh, info at opsolarbattery.com as for an email address. Now the first thing that I like about this is that it's metal. It's not a uh, plastic case. Um, it does have handles on the sides. And uh, this side shows the exact same thing. Uh, on this side over here, it does have an on off button, which I really like. I really think with this on off button right here, we won't need to use a resistor when we're connecting up large inverters. I think we could just connect the, the inverter and then turn on the battery and everything will be fine. So we're gonna be doing that when we do our testing. These terminal covers, they just pop right off, so they're very easy to handle. I like how the terminals are actually raised up, so you don't have to worry about touching the terminal uh, to the case since it's all metal. So raising it up a good inch is very smart. Okay, before we get started, let's go ahead and take the measurements of this battery case and see what the weight is. The battery is just a tiny bit under 12 inches tall. It is 11 inches wide and seven and a half inches deep. And the weight is 53.6 pounds. Some of the things you should know about this battery is that it has a seven year warranty, which is fantastic. And it is rated for eight thousand cycles. Now, I'm not sure if you realize what 8,000 cycles is, but if you cycle this thing every day, 365 days a year, you're going to get over 19 years of use out of this battery. Now, I'm not talking down to 80% like that. I'm talking full use. So you can expect to get 19 years of use out of this battery. Uh, probably guaranteeing five or seven of those years, you'll be getting 100% of the capacity. So yeah, 8,000 cycles over 19 years. Okay, another one of the specs I like about this battery is that it does have Bluetooth built in. So we can use an app on our phone to see the state of charge and uh, other aspects of the battery itself. And uh, another thing, is there are screws on the sides of the top because this battery is fully serviceable. So if you're a DIY kind of person, you can switch out the cells, you can switch out the BMS, you can perform maintenance to the entire battery. Okay, well let's go ahead and start off. The first thing you should do when you do receive a battery, um, you should always check the voltage to make sure that the battery is operational when you receive it. Okay, when I take the measurement before I turn it on, it actually shows the voltage as being 12.44 or 12.43. Um, I find that kind of interesting. I would have thought that there would be no voltage, but as soon as we turn it on, it gives us the true voltage of the batteries itself, which is 13.19. Uh, and that is exactly where you want your batteries. But I find that, I don't find it concerning at all, but I just find it uh, 
interesting that there is voltage at the terminals and it's actually you know a half a volt lower than what the batteries actually are okay i'm looking over the manual that came with it and it's nice because it is just front and back but it is packed with information uh, it tells you all the specifications of each part of the battery and the bms it tells you all about the uh, mechanical performances the temperature performances the discharge and charging performances and then this the electrical performance of the battery itself it also shows you how to connect it in series and in parallel you can connect four of these in series to make a 48 volt 230 amp hour battery or you can actually connect them in parallel to just build up your capacity and then also it does come with a scannable qr code to get the app uh, in order to connect to the bluetooth uh, uh, ability of the battery now some of the specifications of this battery it is recommended that you charge it at around 50 amps but it can be a maximum charge of 200 amps and a maximum discharge of 200 amps the maximum discharge we will be testing it does say that once you go over 205 amps the battery will shut itself off for safety reasons the maximum charging voltage of this battery is just like all the other lithium iron phosphate batteries it's 14.6 volts uh, but you don't want to go over 14.6 volts because the battery will shut itself off for safety reasons and also it will shut itself off when the battery gets below 10 volts this battery also comes with low temperature charging protection so if it gets below freezing it will shut itself off to again protect the cells inside okay so i'm going to go ahead and put this battery on a 75 amp charger and then uh, while it's charging i'll go ahead and show you the app uh, so that way we can look at the specifics of the app connected to this battery okay so now i have this orient power battery on the charger and it is receiving 75 amps so let's go ahead and open up the app and i'll show you what you can see with this app now in the documentation it does say that you need to go and you can either scan that qr code or you can look for ee-bms in your play store and uh, download that app and then you will just need to scan for the bluetooth and the and the name of the battery will be right next to the power button on your battery so mine is a6-0227 and when i select that here is the screen that i get and i'll go ahead and put it right here so you can see that uh, the current right now is 75 amps that it's receiving. The state of charge is 54% and the voltage is 13.6 right now on the battery since it is being charged. Rated capacity is 230 amp hours uh, and the number of cycles is zero since this battery is brand new. Um, there are uh, charge MOSFETs and discharge MOSFET settings on the lower left that say on if you select them it will ask you for a password which we don't know um, and also there are two temperature sensors they do both say 64 degrees Fahrenheit and in the menu on the upper right hand corner you can select uh, centigrade if you want to see it in Celsius um, some more information for this battery you can find it in the app by hitting detail and then you type in six sixes one two three four five six hit okay and it gives you more detailed information about the battery it shows you the date of manufacture which is 9 26 2023 um, the design voltage is 12,800 millivolts which is 12.8 volts uh, the real capacity in milliamp hours uh, again the cycle time uh, the highest voltage cell, the lowest voltage cell in the pack, and the voltage difference, which is right now four, what is it, four one thousandths of a volt. So they are very close together. And then at the very bottom, it does show you each cell and the voltages of those cells. If you use anything else like settings, again, it, use, it asks for a password, and uh, we are not supplied with that password. The password for the six sixes is supplied in the documentation that comes with the battery. Okay, so I'm going to charge this up to 100% and then I'm going to do a discharge test to make sure that we're going to get our 230 amp hours. All right, the capacity test is done, so let's go ahead and check out the results. 
and you can see that the total amp hours is 236.76. That is perfect because it's a 230 amp hour battery pack. So I'm going to go ahead and while it's completely discharged, I'm going to go ahead and take the lid off so you guys can look at the insides. Uh, it's going to be, I'm not going to be taking out the BMS and the cells and everything. I'm just going to kind of show you everything uh, because I still want to do some high amperage testing uh, later on and I don't want to mess anything up. So uh, let's go ahead and take the lid off and let's see what's inside. All you got to do to take this lid off is unscrew all the screws on the sides. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, let's take a look. Lid comes off nice and easy. Oh, that is pretty. First of all, I want to show you that the terminals are completely covered, so there's no, no possibility of connecting it with the case. Uh, it looks like we got two gauge wire going to the, to the cells and the BMS. There's the label in the BMS right there. It shows that it's a 4S 200 amp BMS. And it's from Orient Power. So it looks like Orient Power makes their own BMSs for their batteries, which is, which is great. Here is the on-off switch going to, uh, it looks like the BMS right over here. Uh, everything is glued down nice and secure. Uh, it looks like they're, like I said, there are two gauge cables going to the terminals, but from there it is uh, nice thick bus bars going down to the cells. Everything is just bolted down, so it is user serviceable. Uh, right here is the Bluetooth module. See, let me just put my heat gun in there on low, and you'll see it shut off in just a second. There we go, right there. And like I said before, uh, I don't want to take the BMS out to test the cold temperature with an ice pack. So what I'm going to do is after my uh, high amperage testing, I'm going to go ahead and just throw this thing in my deep freezer and we'll test it that way. And with this battery, you can see the cells inside are prismatic. And I did contact the company and they did say that they are EVE cells, which is fantastic. Um, and that has actually been confirmed by other uh, people on YouTube that have uh, reviewed this battery. Okay, well I'm going to go ahead and put the lid back on this battery and we will do some high amperage testing. Okay, here is my setup for my high amperage test. What I have is my new wave induction cooktop. I have a griddler and I have a 200 watt heater. Now if I turn all of these on high at the same time, that should get us pretty close to the 200 amps that I'm looking for. And also over here, you can see you'll be looking at the voltage of the battery and the amperage coming out of the battery uh, on these two meters right here. So we're going to go ahead and start the test right now. And what we're going to do is try to get it up to 200, 200 amps consistent. And we'll run that for about five minutes. Okay, we're going to start up the new wave. You see the voltage has already dropped down to 13.16. And the amperage is only 48 amps. Okay, we're going to turn on the griddler. All right, we now have 110 amps, which I find odd because we're pulling 2200. There we go. My, my meter wasn't set up right. Let's look at these again. Voltage is at 12.7. Amperage is 195. So let's go ahead and start a timer. Okay. And we'll let this run for five minutes to make sure the battery has no issues. Okay, it's been five minutes and this did not have an issue at all. We're still constantly pulling 196 amps and the voltage is 12.65. You can look at those right there. And uh, our water is just about to start boiling. So what we are going to do is this, uh, this battery should shut off if it goes over 205 amps. So we're going to go ahead and put this on max sear and we're really going to push the amperage now. So here we go. Pushing max sear right now. Amperage is going up. 
and there it goes. Just like that, the battery has turned off. Okay, I just want to let you know that it takes about two minutes for the battery to reset on its own. You don't have to do anything with, you know, giving it a 12 volt shock or anything. Just gotta wait a couple minutes and the battery will kick back on. So now we are back up to 13.29 volts and now we have our meter set to max amperage. What's that, what that means is it's going to try to capture the highest amp surge that we can get it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna be powering uh, my shopsmith right here. This shopsmith uh, has been known to to pull about 400 amps of surge when it first starts up. So uh, we're gonna see if this battery can do it. Let's go ahead and start. Okay, you should be able to see the voltage and the amperage. Let me go ahead and turn on my shopsmith. Okay, three, two, one, go. All right, and we captured 322 amps. So it does look like this battery has no problem starting up my shopsmith and it pulled 322 amps. So uh, it's excellent that it can pull that, but it also will shut off if it goes over its 205 amp hours uh, for more than a couple seconds. So this thing so far is running perfect. Okay, the last thing that we need to do is to make sure that this battery has cold temperature charging protection. So I'm gonna go throw it in my deep freezer and freeze it up real nice and then we'll see if we can charge it. All right, let's see if it charges up. And that is perfect. Straight out of the freezer, it's on the charger, but there are no amps being pushed into this battery. So it does have cold temperature charging protection. Okay, so what do I think of the 230 amp hour, 12 volt lithium iron phosphate battery from Orient Power? I mean, really, what's not to like about this battery? It seriously, uh, every test that I could throw at it, it passed it with flying colors. Uh, I mean, it's a perfect small form factor. Uh, it only weighs like, what, 55 pounds for 230 amp hours. Um, I like how it comes in a metal case that is totally serviceable. So if you have an issue with the BMS or if you want to replace the cells, you totally can. Um, it has, it, it passed its capacity. It has uh, high amperage protection. It can run 200 amps with no problem for, I think we tested it for at least five minutes. Um, it does have cold temperature charging protection uh you know in this in this small of a form factor i think this is a great deal and i think on their website right now this thing's going for like six or seven hundred bucks so again that's a pretty good deal for all you get with this bluetooth enabled lithium iron phosphate battery so thank you so much for watching this video if you have any questions about the orient power battery please leave them in the comments and uh, i will go ahead and put a link to this uh in my description so you can look further into it. Again, thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.